Sweet Finny McFallon McFay. It's Finnegan's Wake by James Joyce. Welcome back, lads and lassies. I hope you enjoy this selection. This is how big the book is. And we're going towards the end. Towards the end. Toward the end of this book. <laughs> okay. Just gonna read. This is... You know, I, I've been searching this book for the affluent genius that abounds, but it isn't easy to find. Much of it is tucked about so uh, pithily and succulently that it, 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 it will elude our first grasps at comprehension. Absolutely. <laughs> Guaranteed. Tell me, you, you try reading this book and figure out what it's all about and tell me. <laughs> not an easy task. Not an easy task at all. No, Finnegan's Wake is not a book you just read. <laughs> it's not a book you just read, folks. You don't just pick it up and read it. You'll be repelled, guaranteed. Try it. I dare you to try to just pick it up cold without knowing anything about it. Even if you've read other James Joyce books like Ulysses and appreciated them, if, you've ne if you don't know anything about Finnegan's Wake and you try reading it, you're going you're gonna to be repulsed. You're going to hate it. You're going to think it's a, it's a trash heap, essentially. It's a total trash heap. But uh, I've been I've been mining it for uh, veins of opals and gold nuggets and pockets of rubies and sapphires throughout. This book is one of the most rewarding <laughs> books for uh, the literature loving types, you know, the poetic types and artistic types, that type of people. But like I said, it doesn't matter who, what type of person you are, if you don't know anything about it and you go to it, you're not going to like it. But you might like uh, some readings from it. So here we go. Stop. Did a stir? No, is fast. On to bed. So is, so he is. It's only the wind on the road outside for to wake all shivering shanks from snoring. But, um, God is a villain. Who will he be, this matryman? Some king of the yeast and his crimsy grayed Brunswick with the snow in his mouth and the Caspian asthma. So bulk of build? Relics of fire and livite. Dick Gill, Tom Lung, or MacFinnan's cool herring. He has only his head crossy casket on and his woolsey shirt pliss with peace god doublet. Also his feet wear doublet, doubled width socks, for he always must to ensure warm sleep between a pair with fully fleeced bankers like a finnock in a cowl. Can thus be Miss Mishra Norkman that keeps our hotel? Begor, Mr. O'Sorgman, you're looking right well. Heckler's champion ethnicist, how deft as a fuchsia shows daft as a fish. He's the Dibble's own dogs for Dublin ex existence. But a jolly fine day sent from of one word, he's trembling up on his family. Whew, wrong. He's rounding up on his family. Um, and who is the Bodekin by him, sir? 
you velsy velsy with ebs and zabs her trixie strail is tripping her vop luck at the way for the lucre of smoke she's looping the lamp why that's old missness wipe them dry well well wells oh wells donna water arctic Ardechicus me with her half bend as proud as a peahen, all a balmy and her trout beck quiver lipe, ninya nanya and her steps to jodznya comder bustle, happy tea area, naughty gay, through selling sunlit soaps to wash out winches and rain-cold droughts to the props of his pubs. She tired lipping the swells at Pont de Lise de Lille till, the, the, till she jumped the boom at Brownamouth. Now she's bored his head under Hatesbury's hatch and loaned his fate to old Love Lane. And she's just the same old haporth of dripping. She's even Brent for hair. Which route are they going? Why? Angel Sitter or Amen Corner? Norwood's Southwark or Euston Waste? <laughs> the solvent man in his upper gambeson with with not a breath against him and the wee wiping woman housey. They're coming, Terug, their diamond wedding tour, giants, inchly elfkins el, vesting their characters, vixen of development, andens aller, Azor's heir, our first day man and your dresser and mine, that Luxemburger avec Setehis Alvet, Coniglick Shire with his Quinch Lontes, Stepney's Shipchild with the waif of his bosom, Dunmal's Flitcher with duck on the rock, down the scales, the way they went up under talls and threading tormentors, shunning the star traps and slipping in sliders, risking a runaway, ruling reveals from Elder Arbor to La Prairie, escaping the clock back, crystal in carbon, swift-heartedly, hot and cold and electricery with attendance and lounge, and promenade free, in spite of all that science, could boot or art could eck. Bolt the Grindon, cave and cadam, single rex for the weak, double axe for the male, and quick, quack, quack for the radios. Renove that Bible. You will never have post in your pocket unless you have brass on your plate. Beggars outdoor. Goat to the nth. Thou slow guard. Mind the monks and door. Mind the monks and their grasps. Scrape your souls. Commit no miracles. Postpone no bills. Respect the uniform. Hold the robbers for the cunning, his plethoron. Let leash the dues to the cuin, her coins. Hate not, have nots. Share the wealth and spoil the wheel. Peg the pound to torn the devil. My time is on draft. Bottle your own. Love my label like myself. Earn before eating. Trudge after drink. Credit the label like myself. Credit tomorrow. Follow my dealings. Fetch my price. Buy not from dives. Sell not 
to Freund. Hear now, chuck English and learn to pray plain. Lean on your lunch. No cods before me. Practice preaching. <laughs> Practice preaching. Think in your stomach. Import through the nose. By faith alone. Seasons weather. Gomora. Salam. Let's feed from my tide table. Oil's wells, wells in our lands. Let earwiggers, wivable, teach you the dance. Now their laws assist them and ease their fall. Now there's a little snippet from Finnegan's Wake. You liked it? Well, I've got a whole playlist called Finnegan's Wake uh, that you can explore with lots of talks and other resources as well from other channels. So please do make sure to subscribe and uh, let me know what you think. I'd love to hear what you think. And uh, share my video as well. Help, let's help get over this negative algorithm. So how did you like Finnegan's Wake today? One of the hardest books in the world. Thank you.